In this tutorial, we will learn some quick and effective ways to create realistic steel material for any object, like this default cube. So let us first go to the Material tab. For this default material, we have to make just two minor changes. First, increase the metallic value to 1. And reduce this roughness value to 0 0.2. That's really all that we need to turn it into steel. If we go to the Material view, we see a metallic outlook for this object. To some extent, it looks like steel. Now, if you go to the rendered view, all that we see is deep dark gray. It looks very different in the render output because it uses the default lighting in our scene. But in the material view, Blender uses an HDRI lighting or environment which results into this nice effect. So, in order to use the same environment in the rendered view, click on this little drop down and turn off the world environment lighting. Instead, we will use this HDRI. Or, you can use some other HDRI file from the internet, and we will get this nice effect also in the render output. The material now looks like a steel material, but it does not look very realistic. It is very shiny, and very glossy. We need to add some noise into it. So, split the screen into half, so that we can work on the shader editor side by side. If you are new to Blender, you can check my foundation level tutorials on how to work in shaders. Links are given in the video description. So, we have a single principle BSDF node here. First add a bump node from the add menu. And then, add a noise texture to bring some randomness in the bump. Increase the scale value for this noise texture to 500, and increase details to 10. Also increase the roughness to 1. Add its FAC output to the height input of the bump node. Change this strength value to 0.05. And also, reduce the distance value to somewhere like 0.1. Now connect the normal to normal of the principal BSDF. We can now see a nice realistic steel effect on our cube object. It looks like a real steel, clean and polished steel, with good amount of details. If you need brushed steel look for you material, we have another tutorial coming up for that. Here, you can play with these values and discover the right setup for your scene. You may need to modify them, based on the objects and the lighting that you are using. For example, let us delete this cube and add one UV sphere as our target object. To get a smooth shading for this, in the object menu, select Shade Smooth. Then in the Materials tab, select the same steel material. It looks little different, not a perfect steel. We need to tweak our values. Maybe, we can increase the strength value to 0.2 then we get a more realistic steel ball in the output. You can also reduce the noise amount while keeping the strength same. Take this only as a guide and experiment with your setup until you are fully satisfied with the material you are creating. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to create a brushed steel material instead of this simple and polished look. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.